Hello YouTube, good evening, what is going on? It's Robert here, as you can see, I have made some progress on getting my stuff together. I think I've decided on the name of the Cheap Patriot Rebuild. It's gonna be called the Jeep Bastriot. If you like that, let me know. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, good play on words. I've got here, finally got my zero gauge wire and underneath here is going to be a whole nother box of nothing but stinger products in the mix as well whole big old box well that's not stinger that's just some grill cloth there something was bugging me we'll get to that let's see here it was that's not a stinger as you can see the whole rest of it so what I'm going to do here real quick is um, get rid of the box, kind of pull everything out individually and go over it real quick. So give me one second. Okay, first we're going to go over is the Stinger 8000 series RCA cables. Um, part of the reason I went with the Stinger 8000s is one, they are just absolutely gorgeous. And two... I like the way that the um, ends lock on. Now there's been in some of the reviews and stuff for the Stinger 8000s here, some people are talking about they were just way too hard to push on or anything like that. But what you have to do with the Stinger 8000s is actually loosen the barrel. Then you push it in to the amplifier or processor. Then you twist the barrel back down and that locks it on. Um, that way you don't have to worry about any, um, like the ground section of the RCA being loose or it getting pulled out in any kind of way. So this one here is the 8417. This is the four channel RCA. So we've got that one. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the three footers and one of the two channel 17 footers and that should definitely do it all 8000 series on the rca cables now i'm actually going to show you guys how that lock-in works i got to get to another piece that i've been waiting to get and i finally got it as well um next we're going to move on to the stinger shd 821 this is the ground distribution block nice shiny and chrome um two one alt gauge or four gauge ins and four eight gauge or four gauge outs i will be using it as a one alt one one alt gauge in and two eight gauge outs no three eight gauge outs to the four channel amps and uh four gauge out to the subwoofer amp so that's that Next up, we have the SHD821. This right here is, I know people say you don't need to put fuses back at your amplifiers. You know what, I'm old school. Yes, I do, I do anyway. Anyway, same deal. Um, it's just a, basically a fused model of the ground block. Nice shiny and chrome. I'll go ahead and then head out the package once. We'll take it out. It is the mini A and L fuses, and there again, four eight gauge out, two one alt or four gauge ends. They got come with the little adapter rings. Really nice, snap in, lock in plastic cover. There we go. So, yep, good deal there. So let's throw this off to the side. And what else we got? Oh, there's one. And then, of course, we've got two, one for positive and negative. These are the SPT53102. Could we have come up with a longer model number, Stinger? Do you think you could have worked on that a little bit harder? Just make it a little bit longer. Anywho, nice, shiny, chrome battery terminals. Um, we're not doing anything too major with this car. I think I got this one open. Um, so as far as needing all the crazy bus bar systems and all that, eh, it's not needed on this build. So just, but you know, these right here probably really wasn't here again. Um, 
nice shiny we got our one alt gauge that'll be running back to the amplifiers and then the um, main factory power wire and then the other power wire so yep that is it for that okay it looked like it was missing a screw <laughs> okay all right that's and i gotta get one other i got one other stinger product i thought i had ordered well i did order it but somehow it ended up being on back order and i should have had it I ordered on April 19th and it never got to me. It never actually, the place was out of them. Well, actually, the place of Sonic Electronics, they hooked me up a killer deal on all of this. And for whatever reason, I guess Stinger just didn't want to ship them any of the SPC 5010 capacitors. I'd ordered it on April the 19th and they were waiting on their order to get from amp electronics and one stinger and well it never got there so that kind of delayed me on the process of getting my build done so and besides that any y'all know um i live in augusta georgia and master's week was kind of busy for me so anyway moving away from the stinger products this here i needed this this is what i'm going to be using for my speaker wires for my components and my doors. This is the Mono Price 4 conductor, 16 gauge. Get rid of that little bug. I don't know where you come from. Anyway, um, <laughs> dang. 16 gauge wire, um, 4 conductor. Um, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I swear back in the day, 16 gauge used to be a little bit bigger than that. I don't know if it's my imagination or what, but I'm not really running a ton of power, so it should be fine. So that way I can just run one single run of wire through the doors and not be bothered by a whole bunch of craziness there for a nice clean install. Okay, that's gonna do it with um pretty much my crazy unboxing up oh, up oh, up oh. we'll go ahead and do this yeah for the amplifier power wire kit i did go ahead and just go with the stinger i believe this was the apk what is this one i said i don't even up oh, i don't know why i keep one it makes sense to me that stinger we call their amp kits the apk amplifier kit I don't know amplifier power kit um but instead the sk4201 um basically it's just the 18 yeah i think it's supposed to be like 18 feet of red power wire that was part of the reason for me just going with the 4201 versus 6201 call me crazy i just like a red power wire and a black ground wire i don't want a blue green purple whatever power wire and a gray i just i just want a red i just want I, I just want a red power wire and a black ground wire that's all i don't want to pay 20 bucks more because the wire is blue i couldn't tell any other difference between the 6000 series and his 4000 series you know I, I think there might be some reference to the fuse holder but i, I don't know anyway so we got our pound again that's 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 really all I got in this. Um, nice big chunky fuse holder, 250 amp fuse in there. That's good. I shouldn't need anything quite that big. Of course, we got our remote turn on wire. But yeah, that's gonna probably be about it for my uh, for the stinger party. And I got one more thing that we're getting ready to unbox, but I'm getting ready to do its own video on it. So click somewhere somewhere over here over yonder over there up there down there anyway look for it we got the dayton audio dsp 408 we're going to do our own unboxing and then we're also going to take a look at the pc software and the initial settings for it so look for that video um if there's any questions that you have about any of these products that we just run through real quick um, please 
just ask it down in the um, comments I will get back to you if you like the video like the video if you didn't like it oh click the dislike button I don't care anyway uh, if you'd like to see more of what's getting ready to come with the Jeep Patriot or Jeep Patriot 2.0 as I also was calling it hit the subscribe button and we'll get it updated as soon as I can alright guys until next time Thank <laughs> you.